And um, well, we're not gonna be on here too long because I know everybody. And you know, and you know what, Ben? I, I thank you for getting us together here just to just to clear some noise out there. For sure, for you know. Sure. Well, I mean, don't go by what you area. heard. Ask us. If you weren't there, ask us. Sure. Ask somebody that was there. Don't. Oh, I heard. No, you didn't. You know, I used to hear bedtime stories, too. <laughs> ah, you hit that shit right, baby. <laughs> mm. Fucking lies, fibs, and fables for people that weren't even touching tables. Man, fuck that. No, definitely big up to Van Silk for uh, making this happen to dispel a lot Dude, of all the... Gun to my take my shades off. No, Peter. Let me know when you get out of a bad area. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but see, bad area. I, I think... This is my trademark, I, homie. I think, yo, see, a, another thing that people don't realize is that our era was a happy fucking era. There's a lot of disgruntled, disgruntled fucking rap. <laughs> and here it is. They they kill each other now. Yeah, yeah, y'all motherfuckers I'm like, can't what the fuck? up. I come from the era of knuckling up. You motherfuckers right. shooting and, and running and driving by and, and shit like that. That's come on, man. That's, and then as far as far as if you had a beef with another crew, you have a battle. There you go. And you said it like that. Hell that shit, man. <laughs> and that's the end of that. And I, I, I know, walk like, yo, I'm the baby of the bunch. I might have to get bounced again. No, it's all good, man. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm the fly okay, on the yo, wall. Yeah, because this, this, this Peter Guns, Mr. Mr. I'm on Cheaters. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Salute. Yeah, Salute once again. I'm in. listening. I'm listening. Okay, Walt. Hey, yo, Walt, we love you, baby. Come love on. you guys, okay. too. All right. All right, Walt. Big J Ws. Big J. Oh, now nah, he gonna disappear. Ain't this a... Where be that? Bimba Colora. That's what they have. La Bimba. Because <laughs> he said he was in a bad area. Hey, 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 where? Damon. Where, Danny, Danny, uh, 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 um... They go Calderon and Julio and they made a record. Estos payasos de la risa me están matando. Wait, 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 wait. I know y'all ain't speaking Spanish over here. What this bullshit? Oh, yeah, yeah. See? Now you start. I was just quoting a record, a record that I've heard. And he has the perfect. I love that. They kill him. I love that. His fucking voice is just incredible. It's a man. He's a. Rob Swift. Is Rob Swift around? Oh shit, not Rob Swift. Rob no way. Swift. Like what state? Rob Swift's gonna come in. Huh? There you go. Yeah. Man, 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 man. Yeah, we do. Fuck some heads up. Rhyme Syndicate. We're not here for yeah. no negativity. We don't drink no that. I don't drink wine coolers. This ain't a wine cooler. This is wine. Vino. It's, it's a wine. It's, and it's cool. It's a wine cooler. You don't want to drink sangria? Uh, nope. Oh, hell, where the fuck you been? I've, I've been with my Bacardi. Uh, see, I can't fuck with that, man. I, I think I drank a child. Rum, that right rum, rum and coke, rum and coke. Boricua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo soy boricua, pa que tu lo sepa. Just in case. <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, and, and from, you know, and, you know, it, uh, that's what I'm talking about. about? Day, oh. Labor Day. And, and I don't know what the label was, but um, the label all I was. To say is, we sitting here cooking dinner and eating and enjoying life and fuck the world, right? Because everybody's um, on some stupid shit. The crazy part about everything here is that 
we as grown men can sit down and have a conversation. How you gonna be arguing about I, I us? Listen, man. <laughs> Back in the day, you didn't have if you had an issue. You pick up the phone or you go see somebody. Yep. They made it so easy that you could just do your phone and you could go and say what you want to say and be reckless and all that shit, man. I ain't got time for all that because it make you look like real silly, like. Like, what yeah. type of panties is he wearing today? Somebody said the Henny Gang's in the building. I threw the Henny Yo, I, Listen, anybody that got to argue, I ain't got time for it. You want to have a conversation? Good. <laughs> I'll be looking at some of these celebrities today. You in the crib My with your hat. wife and you and your girls have an argument. You'll go to Facebook and Instagram. Like, what kind of, what kind of, who do that? Knuckleheads. It's like if I see somebody post something wrong, I would hit them up back on, on like the messenger, like that's the information is wrong, something so. But you got a lot of want to sit there and argue and oh <laughs> like listen, man. Honestly, that's not what I do. Yeah, so thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this, man. Like I said, when I said about that what you mentioned that retreat, watch is gonna be a done deal. Crazy lane. There's too many brothers. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that retreat. On um, this too many retreat, to their sensitive feelings, man. It's, it's strictly like, the know. Chiefs. It's strictly ain't no Indians on this on this retreat. It's strictly Chiefs. So let me ask you a question. Last year, New York had no. uh, the concert series, which mm -hmm. I helped and encouraged Rocky. Like yo, Rock, let's make this happen. And y'all was able to perform for the first time in years, right? Oh, yeah. And Orchard Beach. When yep. I looked at your performance, and I'm like, damn, it's, it seemed like these brothers just did a show last week. You know, I know what uh, uh, Kevin Kevin Rocco, he said he had your rehearsing. We rehearsed for two days, I think. And we yeah. haven't performed well, in how many years, Ruben? It's been, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been years. Wow. So we, it, um, we put that together. Since the last wild style, that's the last time we was together. Since the, the last wild style. style. So as, and we as a group, for two days. As the group, uh, the group, yeah. Since the last wild style, Dr. Rock, rest in peace, was still with us. Yes, Amen. Well, for what I've seen with y'all and Master Bob, and I watched the video because I didn't come back up there. Some reason why I couldn't come to New York, I was still doing my chemotherapy. And um, I seen it like, damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. Y'all look like some. Uh, they, 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 well, you know what? A 2.0 well, version from 81. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, they're talking about Lord, uh, Lord Jamal on here. And they said, everybody that's watching this on this thread and disagrees with Lord Jamal needs to tag him right now. <laughs> I'm like this. I like when people speak they speak their minds and I like when truths are spoken. And I also like when Thank it's you. positive. Not when it's rock. positive. Not rock. But when people you know, if there's nothing positive to say and you you know you can't put your derogative in in, in proper perspective then, you know, just save it for the next person to say. We we work too hard. We've been through a lot in life. And we've been through a lot in life. How do you think it feels to see hey. people going to a studio? Studio made MCs, we used to call them back in the day. Come out with these B-minus records. Yeah. We, we, they up there the they we got big bad shoes. What? What? What's going on, G? <laughs> <laughs> uh, walking through like, yeah, I'm coming to the club, get ready to get on stage. He's something like, yeah, he's he trying to get out. He's trying to get out. It's an honor and a privilege. Honor and a privilege, man. I know Show got a bottle of Henny right next to him. I yeah, I left, I left it in another room. You know what we do. You know it's Henny game. Don't worry, okay. I got it right next to me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. You know what we do. Uh, yeah, but honestly, man, it's 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 like the world is in an uproar, and they're trying to see 
what the contributions were, which is really stupid. But it's a pleasure to have the OGs here to correct the game. Thank you. Thank you. We're Prince Ripple with Ruby D. <laughs> Come on, the fantastic Y'all here. And y'all get to y'all get to say exactly what it is. Like, hey, this year is when we started. This year is what happened. Yes. That's, That's what I said earlier. I was like, I was there. And the story. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. That's what we need. Van, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yes. Thank you. And you know, what, and you know what's so crazy about it is all the mumbling that was going on, nobody mentioned these brothers' name. Which is crazy. So, like, if you don't mention the foundation of the Hispanic MCs, what the hell were y'all talking about? And they're going to tell you when they came in the game. So if they came in the game at a certain time, and Herc is in 73, what are y'all talking about? Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah, this that's correct. That's correct. But, I, but, but, but on that note, on that note I want to shout out Fat Joe, because Fat Joe does. And specifically, he let them know about Ruby D everywhere he goes. Yes. And... Not too many people, other rappers or uh, people that are at that level, mention us. And listen, you know, we all love Joe, but sometimes information gets put to the wrong. And it, 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 he was born in 1970. Sometimes information gets wrong. My boy, boy, that, and, and people translate. I know him because he was a kid. I know him. Right. And people don't. Hey, get, he was blue color, right? Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> Joe, you know so Joe is good peoples, man. He's good peoples, man. <laughs> but let me tell you something funny. Phase two died two years ago. He was 64 years old. Lord Finesse lived in the same building, which was only five floors, and never knew phase two. Crazy. What? Because there's a 15 year wow. difference. Crazy. You what? probably seen him like, damn. You know, and wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Phase two lived on the fourth floor. Lord Finesse lived on the third floor, and he never knew phase two. Wow. Because of the year difference. Lonnie Rest Woods. in peace to Lonnie, phase wow. two. Wow. Shout out to Forest Projects. How about that? All right. Yeah, you got to <laughs> give it. Give it. That's right. That's Ruben. That's Ruben part of town, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. I went to 158. I asked one for the actual, that's junior high school I went to. Yeah. I went to. I'm, from, I'm, I'm from right there. I'm from right there, the ranch. Right I'm there. Those those friends friends. Don't take no jazz. Let uh, uh, yeah. so me ask Me and Busy B came out, that bit, out of the ranch. I, I know Show yeah. got his radio thing going on weekly. You still doing your radio thing weekly? Absolutely. The Midnight Meltdown every Friday night. Absolutely. From from 12 to 2 in the morning, we rock out. We on week, um, oh, shit, 129 weeks straight. How can they find you? Find okay. you on Instagram or what? B I G B A D S H O, no W, on any platform. But we on yeah, Twitter. One other Twitter. question: Are you still in Lambert, or you had to get out already? Are they, they no, I'm in Lambert right now. They tear, they oh. they tore down the offside, and they building up a whole another building over there. But I'm still on the dark side right now. So are they going to move people from your building over to the new ones? Yes, sir. No yes, respect. Sir. No respect. I remember and going back in the day in when Raheem two lived years, there. There will be not. None of the buildings will be here. No more duplex apartments. None of that. No? Yeah, because he got the duplex. Yes, I do. If well, I was you, I, I wouldn't want to leave there. there. You, you want, you want Why would you want to leave? It's an oasis. Shout out to the Lambert. Shout out to the Lambert. Shout out to the Raheem. I'm going to duplex. I'm like, what the fuck? Lambert. Lambert. Why would I want to leave Lambert? No. no. It's the best hood in the streets. No it was an no. oasis in the seventies. You know, everybody. Know, every, you oh, in the yeah. Bronx. You know about land houses. You know. Say, Rummy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and and I know y'all just had Lambert Day, right? With yeah. Berkeley, Bradley, and everything up there reunion. Yeah. Our fifth year is next year too. So hip hop and Lambert is is, is neck and neck. Hopefully Lambert, we'll see you there. Lambert brought out some real good people in hip hop. Let me not Came take y'all legends times. 
Salute Ruby D. Salute Prince Ripple Whip. Y'all my brothers. Y'all my big brothers. OGs. For real, for real. The fans out there. Because there's a lot of work to be done. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. And a lot more work to do. You know what we do. I got you. We gonna get my drink. It's still working. Salute. Salute, Bob. Hey, that brother's a good brother, man. Yeah, he seemed cool in the game. Yeah, you know, when I was up yeah, yeah. a couple years ago, like, yo, Van, you want, you want something to drink? I'm like, sure. So he went upstairs and, uh, you know, I said, you still got a duplex? Like, yeah, man. Wow. I'm like, wow. For um, real. I know she go. I know he gonna be mad at me. We didn't do that interview yet. Me and Positive K supposed to do an interview. Oh, okay, that's my man. He got a new song out. His is um. I was trying to see if I can get his manager on. Some people scared to come on, especially women. They ain't coming on. So I told me to tell you how she said, "Man, I ain't." I said, "Let's throw on the cat." Yeah, she said no. <laughs> I, I like yo, yo. After this, I'm gonna hit you, yo, cause I, I we need to discuss a lot of business, yo. I got yo. I mean, a lot of good business. I yeah, got I'm, 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 but we definitely shook. I'm gonna hit you, cause uh, like tomorrow I'm gonna hit you. Okay. About evening. And you know what? And I, this is what I want to do. I want to. I think. I, I cause I gotta get. I gotta get up in the morning as well. Okay. I like to thank. Honestly, I like to thank. Walt Diggs from the Seattle Bay Area, who was like a student to our generation. Big shout out to Big Walt for sure. I like to thank Charlie Big Chase. Walt. I like to thank Mr. Schick. True. For me, Machine, I like to thank uh, Crazy Legs. And I definitely like to thank my two man. brothers here from, Grand, from the Fantastic Five. That's right, you, baby. If you had to do a Mount Rushmore of the pioneering history, and see, they MCs, but people like to break things down, but to represent your culture, Hispanic, these two faces got to go there, so y'all need to find three more. <laughs> Word, right? Who said that? That wouldn't be too hard to follow. What's that? All I know is that your guys went through. The, the, one, the one with the big head is with. Your ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I had my head intact. That's why I had the hat on. But, 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 but <laughs> one thing a lot of people in this business don't understand is like, yo, we get ten dollars a man. They don't know what that means. Words <laughs> or twenty dollars a man. Maybe. And you're maybe. Like maybe. <laughs> right. That's on a good night now. <laughs> huh? Oh shit! Um, what you mean they left? We're talking. We ain't get paid yet. What you mean they left? Uh, <laughs> the promoters leave with don't. the money. You know who was good for that. We ain't your We gotta go to that house to get the money. Nah, but see, y'all did man dip like walking skating palace, yo. We, we used to go to that life. house. We saved we saved Dip Light's life quite a few times. No, but see, but Dip Light guys, but see, but this is bad. He ain't here to defend himself. But come on, he had. Three big shows every other week, and every other week, Dip Light got fucked up. Yeah, we had, we had, had to say it one time. One time we was in Joe Brooklyn. Mike and Pete, that's my boy. Remember, yeah, Ruben, we was in Brooklyn, and no, motherfuckers. Skating Palace. Oh. They was trying to, yeah, they was trying to rob his so ass. Hold on. So, so, hold on. One week, <laughs> one week he had Soul Sonic Force. The week after the week, then he came with Grandmaster Flash, you know, with the Casanovas and Tiny, you know. And then a the week after that week, he had y'all in cold crushing somebody else. So every other week for the for the for those three shows, Dip Light got his ass whipped in the bathroom in Skating Palace. I think we. I know there was a time that they came in there. You remember? And we we said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> remember when we saved his ass? That nigga said he's one to yo. Can I sit with y'all? Yeah, you can sit right here, man. Because yes. we had the 38, the 32, yeah, sorry. And young bucks were trying to get him. Wow. They were trying to kill his ass. I was like, damn, it's like yeah, that. Yeah. And you know what's so crazy? 
Diplite was a very humble dude. He was not threatening. Exactly. I don't. I don't know what the beef was about, but the beef was there, and we were like, "Whoa!" I, I think he just said he just didn't have that oomph behind him to to protect himself like well, that. Well, no, you can't protect himself. He had the fur coat. He had the fur coat on the fur hat. Yeah. He overbooked a show. He was he was he was like the Don King. I'm going to do more than this, more than what you could afford to do. And when you did Soul Sonic, they had Planet Rock. When you did Flash them, they had Freedom. And you know, when you book Flash them, that's one price. Tiny and the Casanovas is another price. That's a whole nother one. Yep. And, and you know how Tiny was. And he had lim he had limos for us everywhere we went. It was limousine. And then and, and then he everywhere we went. That water bed get when when it comes to money and water bed cab. Yo, and not a dollar slipped through them fingers. That's my water. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, my rest in peace, Dip Light. But Dip Light is the reason we started. We won our money up front. <laughs> <laughs> With AJ, Everything AJ, AJ, tried. Yo, you can do a show with AJ. He makes sure one of one of the more houses a bust a capital so he ain't gotta pay nobody. Yeah, that's that was a whole nother story. Yeah, you kinda right about that one. That's 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 uh that's a, Especially especially when your battle cold crush when it came hey, out of your two Bam Bam didn't pay nobody. <laughs> Who? Bam Body Bam Oh to Bam Body okay. didn't pay nobody. Yo you, you know, he, he didn't pay, pay nobody. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. That's a general. But he is. he is. Yes, he is. Yo, but hold on. When y'all, when y'all, when y'all, and, and, and Cold Crush was going at it. Damn. And the good, and they couldn't decide. And I'm standing there watching this shit. And here go water bed with the baby head that his mama done did. Who y'all think was? Ha <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, that game is over. That, yo, that Harlem World gig, forget about it. That shit spoke for itself. Hey, you know what? I like to shout out. What is the motherfucking game. split? I, it hurt me. <laughs> oh, you remember that but shit? You, know, you remember that, Will? Yeah, I remember that shit like huh? yeah. I've been trying but to you know, do it. We did it. We did it. one Harlem World We did it. I can't remember the one. It was a Harlem World MC battle that AJ did. We we promoted that show, and it was a it was down again to y'all two groups. Cold Crush, fantastic. So AJ come downstairs like yo van, yo I need fifteen hundred out the booth. I got flash them upstairs. They said just get them fifteen hundred. They'll go on. That was the night when the shooting started. And Creole and Melo and them came on stage to tell everybody to calm down. Yep. I remember that. But they never got to perform. I said, yo, hey, where the money at? Yo, I gave it to them. I said, come on, dude. So you gave the money, then all of a sudden, gunshots go off in the ceiling. I said, who who got the gun? Was it Rob? Was it Gil? Which one of Harlem World, um, the Morehouse niggas had the gun? <laughs> yo, I gave Melon the money, man. I gave him 1500 I, 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 I ain't saying shit. I said, yo, AJ, come on, man. Then you go start in that shit again. <laughs> then he did the other shit. The, the Rose Awards. You remember the Rose Awards? Oh, yeah. Now, you remember the girl Nadine with the green eyes? Yes, I do. I said, Nate, I said, yo, Jay, what the fuck is the Rose Award? Yo, man, you know Nadine, my girl, man, she don't be liking this hip-hop shit. So I just put her name on the flyer, you know, just to keep her happy. I said, so she got to get paid to? I said, that's why she's in the booth with me? Yeah. I said, you's a pussy whip, motherfucker. <laughs> then what do I do when I go to the Roxy's? I started messing with this girl in E1 named Patricia Heron. Next thing you see on the Roxy fly, Patricia Heron presents R.C. Paxton. And you remember the MC <laughs> convention at the Savoy Manor? <laughs> hey, wait. I said, Yo. Remember the MC convention at the Savoy Manor? Oh, yeah. We had a drum, right? The Michael Day one with the shootout started. And no, but nobody, remember nobody... Got, everybody left. Master Rob got a, he, I even made a rhyme. Remember, <laughs> nobody wanted the G at the Savoy. <laughs> Yo, but how you oh, I mean, the fuck listen, the I can understand you getting stuck up at a jam. How you get stuck up at a park jam? For real. 
Because you know in 63 Park, that little park, the, the, the DJ booth was towards the back. Mm-hmm. So you walking in that little joint there, you know how Gene was getting there. Who got robbed that? Who got stuck up at the park jam? Well, a lot of people got stuck up at the park jam. St. Murray's Park, you got stuck up if you didn't come from hey. there. I ain't never got stuck up. <laughs> oh, they, called me. they got me one night at the Audubon Ballroom. They got me at a flash party. I got what? got me. Yeah, Stacey. Life's I mean, Stacey them got me, yo. Them, them, them fucking parties at the Audubon. Only thing, I can out, tell you, so. only thing I can tell you is I remember at the Sparkle, you be in the restroom and I, I knew, I knew, anyway, everybody just, you don't want to be it, don't worry about it. <laughs> You sound like you got a, a, a what they call that? Voice change? No, when you singing. I do remember when Bam used to play like uh Monterey Park, that 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 center and all of that. When he used to play Give It Up and Turn It Loose. Not give it up and turn it loose, give it to me. Uh baby Huey. You know what that meant. <laughs> so. Getting stuck up. Ruben, we can't hear you. I can't hear you, baby. He got headphones and his headphones is probably dying. Yeah, your 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 phone took a shit. Can well, you hear brothers, us? I think we did a good night tonight. Uh, I like to thank your two brothers, your two legendary Yo, brothers thank for you, being man. on here. Thank you, thank I think you. people. I think people will get a more clear understanding about the Latinos, the Hispanic, and hip hop, and we can put this conversation to rest. Pretty much, because we all grew up together okay. in this. And we never looked at y'all as being different than us. Exactly. I never felt that way. I know, but you know, you know, y'all came in as the first two MCs in this game, and. There was B-Boys, like I say, Frosty Freeze, as a B-Boy dancer, rest in peace. You know, I mean, you know, the Hispanic definitely took the B-Boy mantle after the first generation of B-Boy. They definitely took it. I'm not going to take that away from them because uh -huh. they definitely took it. They, Vito Bruno took them overseas and all, you know. Yes, sir. They, they kept it alive. They definitely kept it alive. But what I want to say is, We are past all this. You know, we need to move forward. Everybody need to move forward and stop sticking their thumbs in there. Oh, I mean, if you're 35, 40 years old, you, you got to sit in the audience. You have no room at this table. You got that right. If you're 45, 50, you still ain't got no room nope. at this table because you didn't witness nothing. And see, you're not going to take our 10 years away. The most important ten years in right. hip hop. The beginning. You're not going to. There was no that. blueprint. You're not gonna, like Scorpio said, you're not rewriting this. Flash said it ain't happening. It's not. It's not. And I want everybody to understand, we're going to move forward because I see a lot. Or I ain't see a lot of pioneers coming out and say nothing. So you know, they they want us to be. They want us to get online and yo man, fuck so and so. We don't do that. Nope. That's that sucker shit. And we, hit we come hey, from baby. a different cloth. We come from a different cloth of men. If you got a problem, we pick up the phone and call each other. Exactly. We ain't running the social media. Oh, man. One of those home If you do that, no, you know, I can't right. fuck with you. <laughs> Proven and, again. And I want to know if your brother's got anything to say before we leave out of here. Because people definitely going to be hitting y'all up once I post this to YouTube. You know, coming from the first Latin to make it happen, Prince Whip a Whip. I ain't been, I'm not Ruby day D. one, but I'm day two, like Ruby D said. <laughs> y'all want to come fuck with what I got to say? Hit me. Prince Whip All right, Prince Whip a Whip. Hashtag, any way you want to put it. All my social media. Always here for the public. Always. And yo, love you very much, Van Silk. Because I, yo, you've been, you've been, you've been working yeah. hard. I know you've been working hard. 
Thank you, brother. Yo, uh, fight that can't fight that cancer and everything was hard enough, brother. Yeah, that's that's a battle in itself, you know. I'm on some self awareness in regards to being diabetic and diabetes and and the silent killers, because that thing is something that you know a lot of us don't have insurance, and but we still just because we don't have insurance, it has to be checked out one way or another. Because, yo, a candy bar could kill you. Think about that shit. And I want all you brothers out here to go and get your prostate check and go and get your colon check because I'm out. June of 2021, Can you hear me? Of, hold on, I was diagnosed with colon cancer, and I'm glad I'm still here. And Kango Kid was diagnosed two months before me, and unfortunately, <laughs> his spread. But I went to a cancer specialist, and he went to Lincoln Hospital. All right, yo, Kango, what are you doing, Lincoln yep. Hospital? <clears throat> That's like going to kill a king. And, and I told him, funny. don't take radiation because I'm going to show you this. I still have this in my chest. I got my, the, the, the I got my chemo through here, and it did me well, but I still have nerve damage in my hand and my feet. But before we go, go. this here, my brother Ruby D, now say something you great. to the people. We can hear you good now, Ruben. You can hear me now? Yeah, I hear you perfect. We didn't hear you for the past five No minutes. shit. That's that's out of electricity. <laughs> a lot of the times, I would hey. A lot of the times, I was just moving my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say? Like right to the now. Before we go, <laughs> Ruby. Yo. Got anything you want to say to the people before we bounce out of here? Man, this is MC Ruby D, like like Whipple Whip said. Day two it. You know, there's a difference between saying day one and the beginning. I wasn't there day one, but I was there in the beginning, along with my man Prince Whipple Whip. There you go. And shout out to Walk This, our little brother from the Bay Area. Show sure enough, and I'm a damn so sure late. Shout out up. to the original DJ Chaos, but we get ready to get up out of here. We've been on here too long. <laughs> That's all I put in a little bit of work, baby. That's what's <laughs> up. And we're gonna do this again and let them know that we we still here. The A and E's and the MTVs and the VH1, y'all wanna do these documentaries? You call us. When I hit you tomorrow. Stop talking gonna... to people that wasn't there. Van Silk, when I hit you tomorrow, you gonna bug out. Okay. We'll say, peace gentlemen, and, peace and love. Peace. Woo -woo. Peace and love. Alamo. We out.